morning, good morning. Good morning. Yesterday we had the tour of the craft villages of Asante, where we see the Kente weavers. We further went to Intanso to see the Adinkra makers, Adinkra cloth makers. Today we have a city tour of Kumasi, the beautiful city of Asai Kro, or Kumasi, or the garden city of Ghana. Kumasi population is about 3.3 million people living within the city of Kumasi. And Kumasi is the second largest city outside Accra. Kumasi is a cosmopolitan area comprising several suburbs and other local districts or municipalities forming the Kumasi area. During the COVID time, our president decided to give it a new name that is Greater Kumasi. So <laughs> we are in Greater Kumasi. And the youth, the youth of Kumasi now call Kumasi Kumerica. America. Yeah. <laughs> what a mess. He made a deal. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, what? America. America. Because it, it does sound similar. Okay. Maybe five. Uh, okay, start. The youth of Kumasi call it Kumerica. So, the suburbs of Kumasi has new names from the original names that we know, the youth give it a new name, New York, this, that, all the states in the U.S. And so we are in Kumerica. <laughs> well, Kumasi is a vibrant city is a mixture of industrial and uh, commercial activity. It is the nerve center of trading between the north and the south. Kumasi has the largest market in Ghana and it is also said that uh, other narratives say it is the biggest market in West Africa but I beg to differ because the biggest market in West Africa is located in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. So it might be the second largest market in West Africa. Well, the Ivorians also claim they have the largest market in West Africa. So we need the scholars to research properly and attest to that. and attest to that. Kumasi is also the seat of the Asantehene, so it is the traditional capital of Asantemen. Asantemen comprises the confederacy of Ashanti states. Now, it's a confederacy because Okofo Anoche but with the help of Konfonoche King Osetutu the first, the founder of the Asante Empire and Asante Kingdom, brought the golden stool into being. So the, before the coming or before Konfonoche could draw the golden stool, they see themselves as different states. And then, by the bringing down the golden stool, they all came together as one nation. So it's a confederacy made up of different kingdom under the Asantehene. So they are all Asantes joined together by the golden stool. We are entering the business area of 
Kumasi and joining the prep at the second street. We also have the Ghana Armed Forces Museum, which also serves as been behind it for several cemeteries. During the and this is the only inland port in Ghana. The inland fort, the only inland fort in Ghana. To my left and to your right, that is the Kumasi Fort. And it's used by the Ghana Armed Forces as a museum. Now the Ghana Armed Forces Northern Command is here. Yankumu uh, is here. So it's in the Kumasi, uh, the Southern the Southern Command and the General Headquarters is in Accra, while the Northern Command is in Kumasi. That's the general post office to my right and to your left. And coming up is the Prepare the Second statue or circle. And we are on the Prepare the Second Street. That's Prepare the Second. Uh, yeah, probably yeah, traffic. Yeah, traffic nature. So that's Prepare uh, the Second. And we are entering the central business area of Kumasi. Oh, I mean, we are prisons. Yeah, if our prisons. Oh, oh, yeah, we go from prisons. Ah, the the view. So in this area, we have all the banks. We have the Ghana Commercial Bank. We have uh, APSA, we have Standard Chartered, and other bank. We also have the Bank of Ghana in this area. derived its name from the Kum tree. The Kum tree. It is said that when King Osetu and Kofonoche wanted to cite the capital, he said he was instructed by the gods to plant two Kum trees. Why the tree survived? That is why the capital, the gods want the capital of the empire or the capital of Asantma to be cited and the tree in Kumasi survived. So it's under the Kum tree. Kum, I say. What's a Kum tree? Yes. I, I've not seen it. Okay. <laughs> I know this. And it is said that the other town, the Kum tree died. So they said Kumewu, meaning the Kum tree died. So that is what that is the regional headquarters of the Ghana Police Service. And then we have to my, my left and to your right is the Bank of Ghana. Now this is the prisons, the central prisons of Kumasi. To my left and to your right. Coming up is a statue of a Kongon Peter. A Kongon Peter. Yes, announcing to the people of a capture of a lion that have been inhabiting this area, disturbing the people, and it's believed that the day the king was born, this lion was captured, and so it's announcing to the people that the lion has been captured. So you can see the symbolism is the announcer standing on the Yeah. <laughs> it is the biggest 
So we are now at the central business. So all the people you see in this area are doing one thing or the other, coming to buy, coming to do window shopping, and others. And well, the sound you are hearing is a preaching this morning. Uh, a preacher man preaching at the market, and you find several of them within the market area.